Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to make a maple tree for the Blender game engine. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is delete this cube, so X, delete that. We're going to add a mesh, it's going to be a cylinder, and we're going to put 12 sides on it. I already have 12 selected on this one, but you can just select the vertices down here, type in 12 and hit enter, and you'll get a 12-sided polygon. So, okay, now... We can hit tab, go into edit mode. We'll select face select. Select the top face there. And we can start start editing this thing. So we'll raise that up a little bit. Then we will scale it down just a little bit. So then we can E for extrude. Bring that up. Scale with S. And then we can offset it just a little bit, not too much, but just enough. E for extrude again, scale it down, move it back, maybe on the x-axis a little bit. Um, extrude again, scale it down, grab it on the x, bring it back a little bit. Extrude again, scale it down. This thing is taller than I expected it would be. <laughs> um, all right, and one more. Do that. Scale it down. Drag it over a little bit. Okay, so that's that's our tree trunk right there. All right, so we're good. We're good on that. All right. So now what we want to do is we want to unwrap this so that. Um, because we're going to use this trunk as um, not a template necessarily, but we're going to take this and we're going to put it out on all the sides for the limbs of the tree as well. And it'll be easier if it's already wrapped with an image than doing each one individually afterwards. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do is hit A to select all of those in edit mode. And we're going to unwrap that and we're going to go to cylinder projection. And we go up here to default, we go to UV editing. And we can see here that it's already set up for us nice and nice and neat. Um, we're going to have to go to image, open image, and mine, I'm going to go with maple trunk 2. And go open image. And then we can grab this, scale it down, or rotate it. Grab it again, scale it on the x-axis, oops, too much. And yeah, that would probably be good. Okay, so let's take this light, oh, let's go into object mode with the tab key. We're gonna take this light, we're gonna shift D to duplicate it. Oops, it went into some weird mode, hit the wrong key. All right, and we're just gonna put that light in a few different places here just so we can get some light around this tree all right now let's go to textured and let's see what our tree looks like all right doesn't look too bad all right could be a little bit better probably if I was using a different map or maybe it just um, took a little bit more time to customize it but all in all I think that'll work just fine so we have our main trunk right there um, and in object mode we're going to select that and let's shift D to duplicate it we're going to scale that down quite a bit um, uh, let's come down here a bit. Up. Okay. Let's rotate that on the y axis 90 degrees. And then rotate on the y just a random amount. Uh, grab that in the y. Okay. And we're just going to keep doing this, rotate on the z-axis.
still on the tree okay well that's good this one however not so much okay so I think we got our tree trunk set up here um, so if we were to go through all these um, Let's go into the game logic and let's go textured zero. Uh, let's grab this camera. Um, let's actually grab it on the y axis, bring it. Rotate on the Z axis. And let's rotate that X a little bit. Let's just see what that looks like when it's actually in the game. And so right now we can see through this object. So I'm gonna have to take each individual piece add a new material in the materials tab here just select add new and then go face texture and then you go to game you start it and you can see that it's it's doing just fine um, you might want to do that with all of them um, just to help prevent any other unforeseen issues later on we're going to be adding other stuff to it so um, unfortunately can't do it all grouped together so you have to select each individual branch also probably change the um, specular intensity um, so that it's not so shiny so let's take this um, take the intensity on the specular down and that way it doesn't shine so much so I'll we'll have to do that with all of these as well um, so now our tree is set up so that it looks fairly normal when it's in the blender game engine all right so next time i will show you how to make branches with leaves and whatnot and how to uh, make it move and i'll probably do those in two different parts but yeah for right now um there is your tree all right, this is Kyle with 5-Minute Guide.